Three Centenaries, written and told by July Leonard. One day in April, the engines at Tidmouth Sheds were just getting steamed up for the day. When the Fat Controller drove into the yard, he had exciting news for the engines. In one week, the famous engine, Flying Scotsman, is coming to Sodor for his centenary, so I want you all to look your best. The engines were excited, all except Henry. Oh no, not him again, he groaned. Why does he have to come here? Because this year marks his centenary, my dear Henry, replied Gordon. Besides, he was built in 1923 at Doncaster Works in the mainland. And he steamed away to fetch his express coaches for the Wild Nor'wester. Meanwhile, on the miniature railway, the small railway engines were excited about Rex's centenary. However, Rex was unsure. I'd wish I can be with Flying Scotsman, knowing that he has a centenary too, he said sadly. Like if that'll ever happen, grunted Mike. Bert, Jock, Sigrid of Arlisdale, Olivia, Blister 1 and 2, tried to sympathize Rex on the other hand. Don't... Don't worry, Rex, said Bert. I'm sure you'll get your chance. One day, just a few days before the week that Flying Scotsman came, Rex was taking some passengers up the line. All was going smoothly until... Crack! A wish of steam started hissing in an alarming way. His driver stopped the train. What was that? asked Rex, startled. Your safety valve has cracked, said the driver. You can't pull the train anymore. Rex felt awful. Just then, Jock and Frank arrived and were flagged down. Don't worry, Rex, said Jock. I'll take your train on, and I'll take you back home, added Frank. So they did. When they got back, a fitter came to examine Rex. You need a new safety valve, he said. Y'all need to go to the steamworks for a new one. Later, when Rex was taken to the steamworks for a new safety valve, just then there was a crash. Kevin, called Victor, how many times do I have to tell you? You don't drop things, you lower things. Slowly, slowly, gently, gently. Yes, boss. Sorry, boss, replied Kevin. Just another slip off of my hook. Victor chuckled, but not Rex. Hey, cheer up, Rex, sympathized Victor. We'll have you fixed up in no time. I know, replied Rex. But what if I miss Flying Scotsman's centenary? You won't miss a thing, replied Victor. A new safety valve should arrive in the next few days. A few days later, the safety valve had arrived and Rex was all fixed. Just then, Donald arrived. He had exciting news. The Fat Controller and your Controller has decided to have you with Flying Scotsman, he said. Rex was delighted. The engines and people were all gathered at Tidmouth Shed's yard when Flying Scotsman pulled in. Rex was still on his flat truck, and they even introduced to each other. You must be Flying Scotsman that I've heard about, he said. Indeed I am, chimed in Flying Scotsman. Then... An unfamiliar whistle sounded, and another green engine similar to Flying Scotsman backed down. He is an A3 Pacific, like Flying Scotsman and Gordon, but with a number 4475. Flying Fox! exclaimed Flying Scotsman. What are you doing here? I thought most of my Doncaster brothers were scrapped. I thought most of my Doncaster brothers were scrapped, put in Gordon, astounded. I was saved from the Cutter's Torch, replied Flying Fox, but nowadays I work on the Deer Valley Railway in the mainland. That's good to hear, said Rex. Also, continued Flying Fox, this year is also my centenary. The others were surprised. I don't believe it, exclaimed Gordon. Three centenaries! Happy centenary to you three! And everyone cheered and whistled. It was the best centenary to Rex, Flying Scotsman, and Flying Fox.